Hello! Today we'll be talking more about our project, which has something to do with durians. I'm sure many of you enjoy eating durians. Both of us enjoy eating durians, and the most common way to consume durian is by using our fingers. However, there's always this lingering smell left on our fingers after consuming the durian, and even washing our hands, the smell still lingers. So what drives us to doing this project is a popular old wife tale that if you take the durian husk, you fill it with water, and then you wash your hands with it, it will apparently be able to remove the lingering smell. Therefore, in conjunction with Chemo Power Technology Private Limited, our project is a study of a durian husk solution as a deodorant against the volatile compounds found in durian by using the static heat space gas chromatography mass photometry. So, what is durian? The scientific name for durian is Durozipotamus murae. It is a common fruit that can be found sold on streets of Southeast Asian countries. The tree grows well in hot and humid climate of approximately 24 to 30 degrees Celsius. Durian also has a distinct odour which is off-putting to many non-Asians. This is a picture of the cross-section of durian, and this is a couple each durian has about 5 couple and each couple has a low queue which houses all the areal, which is the durian fruit. The edible fruit is usually yellow in colour with a creamy texture. Just like us, many researchers were interested about the volatile compounds that contributed to the strong durian scent. Hence, current studies focus mainly on discovering these volatile compounds. To do so, they use solid phase microextraction coupled with gas chromatography mass spectrometry or GCMS. So after the research was conducted, it has been discovered that the distinct durian odour was mainly made up by ester compounds which are responsible for the fruity note and sulfur containing compounds which are responsible for the onion like note. For our project, we had three main aims and objectives. Firstly, we wanted to study the deodorizing effect of the durian husk. Secondly, we wanted to potentially commercialize the durian husk solution. And last but not the least, we wanted to investigate alternative deodorants to replace the durian husk. Now we'll talk about our materials and methods. We started off with a preliminary method. As mentioned before, we usually consume durian with our fingers. And since we were mainly interested to find out how durian husk solution can deodorize the lingering durian smell on our fingers, we decided to use various materials to mimic this lingering smell. We used the durian areal to smear onto various materials for X minutes. Then we wiped it off completely and rinsed it with durian husk solution. We started off by using plastic sheet as it was hypothesized to retain this lingering smell. We also use tea bag and gauze as they are more absorbent by nature. Lastly, we use pig skin as pigs share a number of genetic and physiological traits with humans. Next, we move on to the optimized method. Firstly, for the durian homogenate stock, we mix the Marshang Wang durian areal together with deionized water, filter and obtain the filtrate. For durian husk solution, we blend the durian husk together with deionized water, filter, centrifuge to obtain the supernatant. For the analysis, our sample vial consists of equal amount of durian homogenate and durian husk solution, and this is kept constant throughout our entire project. Our analysis was done using the static head space GCMS. The results were obtained by using the company's patented softwares. Smart Dalton to deconvolute co-eluted pigs and identify trace compounds. Molecule DB that matches to a NIST library for identifying the volatile compounds. Now we'll be talking about our results and discussion portion of our project. We observed the total ion chromatography plot or TIC plot to identify the volatile compounds present in durian aril. When the plastic sheet, gauze and tea bags were used, there were no observable peaks on the TIC plot. Hence we used the pig skin, which was the closest to human fingers. However, there were still no observable pigs found. We later found out that this is because of the static heat space sampling technique that we used, and it is not sensitive enough to detect these volatile compounds present. Hence, we created a durian homogenate for identifying the volatile compounds instead. 
These are the volatile compounds that are present in durian aril. There's a total of 25 volatile compounds. We picked out 8 major chemicals, which are the 8 major odorants in durian that we will focus on for this project. To find out if the durian husk actually has a deodorizing effect, we mixed durian husk solution with durian homogenate in a 1 is to 1 ratio and subjected it to static heat space GCMS. We also used a durian homogenate mixed with deionized water to compare with. We used absolute peak area value in the y-axis here to determine the effectiveness of the durian husk solution. From the graph on the right, you can see that the red dots are generally lower than the black squares. Hence, this shows that the durian husk solution has a positive deodorizing effect. Since we only prepared a fixed concentration of durian husk solution, we wanted to investigate the effects of durian husk solution on various concentrations of durian homogenate. This is to see which concentration of durian homogenate can be effectively deodorized by the durian husk solution. There is a total of four different concentrations that we prepared. The absolute peak area value of concentrations 8Z and 10Z are very similar. In addition, the absolute peak area value also plateaus at concentration 8Z. Hence, concentration 8Z durian homogenate was used for our subsequent experiments. Durian is a fruit and as such, it is perishable by nature. In addition, static heat space GCMS takes a while to run and we left majority of our samples on the GCMS tray to run overnight. Even though the same durian homogenate was used throughout these samples, there can be a deviation observed in the absolute peak area values for both the sulfur-containing compounds and the esters. In general, there was an increase in the absolute peak area value of the sulfur-containing compounds and a decrease in the absolute peak area value of the esters. Next, for the potential alternatives. We wanted to investigate if the common household ingredients will be able to work better than the urine husk solution and is able to act as an alternative. We tested on three different types of household ingredients. Firstly, we tested out on baking soda. We used baking soda because baking soda is a popular deodorizer to get rid of stinky air. In a research, it has also been proven that baking soda has deodorizing effect against axillary odors. Due to its amphoteric nature, it is able to neutralize both acids and bases. Up next, we tested on lemon juice. A study has found that lemon juice is an effective deodorizer against sulfur compounds found in garlic. Also, the citric acid in lemon juice will be able to kill bacteria that causes odor. Lastly, we have table salt. Table salt is a cheap and easily accessible ingredient that is commonly found in our kitchen. Since many deodorants contain sodium chloride, we have decided to use salt. We had a total of 3 valves for each test. Do note that the pink and the black line is kept constant for all the tests regarding the potential alternatives. To have a clearer view, we will be focusing on the pink at a retention time of 9.80, which is diethyl disulfide. When comparing the sample with baking soda to deionized water and durian husk solution, the durian husk solution, which is the black line, has a much lower peak. Among the three samples as seen on the screen, lemon juice has a similar deodorizing effect as deionized water. However, durian husk solution still works the best. For table salt, it was observed to have similar effect with baking soda. In a nutshell, the durian husk solution had the best deodorizing effect on the durian odorants as compared to the common household deodorizers. Since we were working with Chemo Power Technology Private Limited, we mainly focused on the potential commercialization of the durian husk solution as a deodorizing agent. As such, the following experiments were conducted with commercialization in mind. For the successful commercialization of the durian husk solution, it needs to be cost-efficient to be produced in large quantities, it needs to have a long shelf life, have many users to appeal to more customers, and has to have a consumer market. Our first step in ensuring that our solution is cost-effective was to investigate if there was a significant difference between the deodorizing effect on eight major odorants present in the durian aril when various concentrations of the solution was used. So we prepared three different concentrations from the durian husk solution stock. The absolute peak area values of the three concentrations were very similar. However, effect varies from compound to compound. 
Hence, we need statistical proof that they were similar. So we use the Krusko Wallis test. The p value was higher than alpha value of 0.05. As such, null hypothesis was retained and there was no significant difference between various concentrations of Durin Haas solution in terms of their deodorizing effect. Hence, going back to our point of creating a product that's cost efficient to produce, we can use a more diluted concentration of Durin Haas solution while ensuring it still has the same deodorizing effect. The shelf life of a product is important when the product is made available to the market. Therefore, it is important to have a longer shelf life as it can increase profit, increase affordability as well as to ensure the quality of product. We did a time study by observing the durian husk solution under normal room temperature and pressure condition. On day 0, the durian husk solution was clear with no suspended particles. The solution turned increasingly brown and turbid when it was left to sit for a month. Hence, to preserve the appearance of the solution, we use findings and preservatives. Findings are substances added to wine and beer to remove proteins and other substances so as to improve the clarity. This picture shows two vials of urine husk solution, one with findings and one without. Due to the Tyndall effect, the vial with findings has lesser light scattering. This is a simple illustration of the Tyndall effect. When we take a look back at this picture, the right valve without findings scatters more light as there are fine particles present. Hence, a clear beam of light can be seen. However, after findings were added, the fine particles are removed, hence preserving the appearance of the durian husk solution. The second approach was to add preservatives. Six different types of commercial preservatives were used in different quantities and combinations to preserve the appearance of the durian husk solution. They were hypothesized to maintain the stability by suppressing the growth of the microorganism. They also help to slow down the oxidation process which can help to prolong the shelf life and appearance of the durian husk solution. These valves were observed over a period of 15 days. On day 7, as seen from this picture, the control which contains just the durian husk solution turns opaque and turbid. The line at the back cannot be seen. Comparatively, the ones with added preservatives were well preserved as the line at the back is visible. However, it was observed that only Val J was able to remain turbid free up to the 10 days mark. It is also noted that the smell of the durian husk solution was not preserved. A natural deodorizer that is made specifically for durian will not be in demand. If we can use the durian husk solution as a deodorant for other odors, we can reach out to more consumers. Hence, we tested on four more odorous chemicals that closely resemble body odor. There is the more odorous chemical that is mixed with deionized water compared with more odorous chemical mixed with durian husk solution. We performed an unpaired T test and the p-value was less than alpha 0.05. As such, there is the significant deodorizing effect of the durian husk solution on the more odorous chemicals as compared to deionized water. Hence, this can be a possible use of durian husk solution if it is commercialized. However, this still needs further testing as we tested on chemicals that resemble body odor, but not the actual body odor. We were curious if anyone would be interested to buy this product if it was pushed out in the market. Hence, we did a market survey. We did a blind test and created two wet wipes. One of it is soaked in deionized water, and another one is soaked in urine husk solution, and we removed the excess liquid. Here are the questions asked and tabulated results. Based on the results, the deionized water wet wipe is seen to have a better effect as compared to the durian husk solution wet wipe. So what can we conclude from this project? Here are our conclusions that we made based on doing our project. Regarding the potential commercialization of our durian husk solution, we have made these observations. These are the possible future works. With that, thank you for your kind attention.